Thank you, Reese. A huge sellout crowd of over 92,000 at Bryant Denny Stadium in Tuscaloosa, where the dream is alive. An SEC championship and a national title are visions growing ever larger on the horizon. But first things first, tonight it's the Bulldogs of Mississippi State who have won the last two in this series against the number one team in the country, the Alabama Crimson Tide. Adam Carlson to kick to Arenas and McCoy. And as Todd said, they don't want to be burned by Javier Arenas. McCoy in front of Arenas. Across the 25 near the 30-yard line. The ball game. Coffee goes out as a wide receiver. Here comes the blitz. They throw underneath. Complete to Julio Jones, the talented freshman who breaks about four tackles and gets up to the 40. The leading receiver for this ball club that's dominated by the run. Coffee with a big hole. Third and two. Coffee on the toss. They love to run left. But they're going to be short on this. Thanks. Derek Pegues is deep. Quick angle toward the sideline and downed at the one. He waits, but nobody like Cody at 365. Complete out to the 12-yard line. Nice throw by Tyson. Doesn't have to be deep, but to the bottom of the numbers. Anthony Bowers, the new snapper. It was high, and they block it. Blocked by Kareem Jackson, and that's a safety. So Bowles, the new upside to inside, and he just gets more and more comfortable. A career-high 15 tackles in the last game against Kentucky. John Parker Wilson under pressure. Guns it as it tipped in the air. Slant caught first down at the Alabama four in a row. Wasn't ready for the snap. Goes right to the quarterback. Hit him in the gut and the ball's loose. He was in the shotgun. And DJ Looney, I don't know if he thought he was under center or thought he heard a snap count, but I think he was coming up. He was. To change the play or to get under center and everything. And he just snapped when he heard his quarterback's voice. Coffee. Six, two wide receivers. John Parker Wilson to Julio Jones underneath. His forward progress will give it third and long for John Parker Wilson. Four-man rush, good protection. Throws over the middle. That's going to be well shy of a first down. And one from 35 yards. Slight angle. And knocks it straight through. Boy, he nearly lost that handoff. That ball was high up on his chest. And that's up. Arts and punt. The geese hit his tracks. How about Rashad Johnson? He is something. He is a playmaker at these around. Pressure coming. Stallworth out in the flat. Wide open. Stallworth still on his feet. Midfield down to the 40. Stallworth coming off a game again. Four-man rush. Lee hangs in a pocket. Nearly had it. <laughs> Somehow it got through to Brandon. Lee flushed out of the pocket, has room to run, throws instead. Touchdown! That looked like a push-off by Jamel Smith. It looked like he got away with one in the end zone, and then the ball just hit yeah. him in the... Now it's a field goal. Another poor snap that the holder, Blake McAdams, had to reach up. John Parker Wilson again. Got the first down. Third and a long three. Blitz coming. Ball's loose. John Parker Wilson hit from behind. The ball came loose. No signal yet. Now they six, didn't it? I would think. Lee from the end zone. And Incomplete. He yes, he did. He had the fullback. Good snap this time to McAdams, and McAdams gets it out of there. Right where they wanted it, on the outside of the numbers. 
Arena somehow stayed in bounds. There you go. week against LSU. Here he goes again. And John Parker Wilson is lying in the end zone. They finally signal touchdown. And some pushing and shoving after. And with 4.47 to go in the first half, Alabama and that's how the Hounds two pack made it in here. Lee on the scramble. There's a case where you Lee fakes one way, screen back the other. Dixon shakes a tackler. He's got a first down down to the 30. Tough run and what a play by yeah. Tyson Lee. Look and they all drop out. Three man rush. Lee throws underneath incomplete. Had Dixon coming out of the backfield. That wouldn't have gotten much. Blitz coming. And Lee goes down. McLean, the middle linebacker, tackles for the sophomore linebacker. Middle of the field to Arenas, not where you want to kick it. Arenas has a seam. Goodbye. Teams set up two touchdowns. They contributed with a block punt for a safety. They've scored 16 of the 19 points. Third and long for Mississippi State. Tipped and incomplete. It falls at the feet of Johnson. Let's check in with Holly. When you throw interceptions, they return it for touchdowns. Those devastate. But it's not like every throws out in the flu. And what they're doing tonight, it was such an emotional ball game. And this is McCall, the tight end inside the 25. And LSU back. It's the tight end McCall, or Walker rather, for a first down at the 11 yard line. Walker is the second leading receiver. Angle at the left hash mark. And Lee Tiffin knocks it through. He's 15 out of 20 field. Lee wants to go deep. The receiver goes down. Did they tangle feet? If they did, it's incidental contact and nothing. Rashad. Ingram. 40. Midfield. Force Coward and taken down. Ingram just bursts off to him when he steps on the football field. Play action. John Parker Wilson will keep it and dive across the 40. They'll mark it just inside the 40, shy of a first. Down. Holly did the math. Holly, how much time is it that they have to play? Five minutes and 50 seconds. And he, he said that because it makes it much more manageable. These guys were kind of emotionally overwhelmed after that tough LSU game. And he's like, you know. Bowl in years and years last year as John Parker Wilson being flushed out of the pocket on third and long. And they will stop him well shot. Two NCAA probations in a decade. And we've got to rebuild everything. Another 35-yard field goal. That's overthrow for Dixon. The eight John Parker Wilson out of the shotgun. Mississippi State's done a good job getting pressure on him. Has a man wide open and got it. Down to the 35-yard line, complete to Brad Smelly. Yeah, it wasn't. Slides. Blitz coming. They don't get there. Over the middle, Joe to the one. Well, they 
gambled and lost. Ingram, touchdown. Baron Huber, number 40, who doesn't get to play that much. He's a blocking linebacker, comes in in short yardage situations. Got him a nice block on that one. And render 32 points on the night. Big interstate rivalry. Lee running for his life again. Nice cut to get away. Lee on the run. has a man open and it's dropped. Holy wow. cow, Jamile Smith could Griffin down near the 22. And they will not have to run another play. So Alabama will go to 11 and 0. And hold on to number one by virtue of a 32 to 7 win over Mississippi State. Todd, they were concerned about a letdown. Uh, they may have had a little one, but they overcame it. Yeah, I don't necessarily think it was a letdown. I just think they, uh, Mississippi State was fresh. They had the week off. They came out. They had a nice plan defensively. And it just took Alabama a little while to get rolling. But they never panicked. They didn't panic last week on the road. They didn't panic at home this week when it started slowly. And eventually they were on ESPN. Stay tuned for SportsCenter for a wrap-up of this game. Catch us on ESPN News in just a few minutes. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For Todd Blackledge, Holly Rowe, and our entire ESPN crew led by Paul Garrett and Scott Johnson. This is Mike Patrick. Good night from Tuscaloosa, Alabama.